This video is really triggering me because I'm just saying all my hates in one thing. Yes, I'm eating egg on a plate. You don't hear my line no more. What's up, guys? It's Jazz, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're filming my second ever YouTube video, so welcome. I hope you guys are excited. So, today's video is going to be drum roll, please. <laughs> 10 weird facts about me. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 things that are a part of me and make me who I am. They're kind of weird. Some of them are like, hey, and some of them are like interesting. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get onto the video and let's do it. Honey. So the first weird fact about me is that I hate honey. I can't even describe how much honey just turns me off. Uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. So I have a story behind it. And once you hear the story, you'll understand why. When I was younger, I think I was like eight or 10 years old, something like that. I just loved honey. I was at my grandma's house. My grandma lives next door. That's another weird fact within this fact. I was at my grandma's house and I had like a little glass bowl thing. I just remember the bowl. It was like a small bowl, but it was it had a lot of honey in it. And obviously, cause I just love food. And since I was a child, I've always loved food. Like loved, love food. And I was just, going at it okay i was going for it this honey was like the last time i was ever going to eat or something so i finished the honey and i was satisfied and then i was like i don't feel good i was like going to the toilet i was like this is not okay what's wrong with me and i was like mom i don't feel well i ended up coming home that night and i went to bed feeling really really sick and then that night in my sleep I threw up. I'm pretty sure that I remember this correctly, but I was actually sleeping and threw up in my sleep, which must have woke me up. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I woke up in like a pool of vomit, okay? I feel so bad for my mum who would have had to come and clean it. Because, you know, you're an eight or ten year old, like you're not going to be cleaning your own... You know what I'm saying. Ever since that night, I can't eat honey. I can't look at honey. I can't smell honey. I can't think about honey. Yuck. Oh, yuck! I just like imagined it and I felt really sick. When I do smell honey, like I do get chills. I'm not even joking, I'm not exaggerating. I'm gonna get a jar of honey now just to show you guys my reaction so you know what I feel like, okay? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm back with the honey. I'm gonna open it up and just have a smell. Take a whiff. I don't know if you can open it like that. Urgh. No, that's a no. Get out. Goodbye! <laughs> no thanks. Let's move on. So my second fact is that I have a fear of loose hairs. It, I guess it's kind of an irrational fear, but it's not to the extent of a phobia. I'm not going to say I have a phobia of loose hairs. I hate when people claim that they have a phobia. I'm like, you have to see the difference between a fear and a phobia. But I do have a fear of loose hair. You know when you see hairs, like just a hair hanging? Oh! There's so many things that give me chills. I need to just stop. I need to calm down. I get creeped out so easily. Like, you know when there's like a, someone's jumper, someone's wearing a jumper, like a furry woolen jumper or something, and there's just, you can see like one loose hair. Oh! Look, my eyes are watering just thinking about it, guys. Even when I'm in the car and I see like on the seat next to me a loose hair, I have to take it off. Yuck. Yuck. Out of my sight. Get out. Goodbye! Piss off! Like, no. No, I can't do loose hairs. You know what's even worse? When people have animal hairs on them. Oh! Yeah! On their clothes! On their couch! Like, ew! My third fact about me... Sorry, I'm still trying to recover from the last one. I feel like I'm just triggered. Triggered! My third fact about me is that I don't own any pairs of heels, okay? I don't have one pair, one single pair of high heels. And you think, like, hang on, you're a 19-year-old girl. Like, you know, all 19-year-old girls have a pair of high heels. No. I hate heels. I hate, like, real fancy dress. Like, eh! No. I'm, like, the type of person that's always wearing sneakers. You will not catch me wearing heels Ever. I can't even walk in them. I remember in like year 10, I was trying on shoes for like the school formal and I was like walking around, like about to fall over in the store. I'm like, oh, I could get these, put them on. Oh, 
Whoa! I can't do it. I just can't wear heels, guys, and I don't like them. I just, they're not made for me, okay? I'm not made to walk in heels. I'm not graceful. No. So, the fourth fact about me, I did touch on this in my last YouTube video, and those of you who do know me will know about my donut addiction and obsession. However, I am going to show you guys all the things that I own so you guys can see, because I don't want to make a whole video just dedicated to the donuts. Like, you know, I love my donuts, they're my little babies, but it's a bit extreme. I'm gonna show you guys right now all the donut things that I own. Let's get it. The first thing is this donut pencil case right here. Mm, I feel like I'm doing a haul. The first thing I bought was this donut pencil case, and it's from, um, I don't know, someplace, like, you know, Kmart? Like, yeah, Kmart. This donut, I don't actually know what this is, I just bought it because it was cute, but I think it's like a pen holder. My donut pen right here. I'm pretty sure you can just put pens in here. Is that what it's for? I don't know. My donut candle. It's so cute! My donut glasses, which you guys have seen in my previous video, and I love them so much. They're like my favorite thing ever. Donut stickers! I also have this donut light. Boom. Let me turn the lights out so you can see it. I've got this little donut book, and my mommy bought it for me. Last, but most definitely not least, my donut pillow! <laughs> These are my life! I love them. This is where the obsession began. They're my children. Oh, and how could I forget? My socks! Shout out to Liv, donut socks! Doo, 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 doo. So the fifth weird fact about me is that I hate soggy, mushy things when it comes to food. Like for example, my number one example, wheat bix If you're not Australian and you don't know what wheat bix are, this is what they look like. And basically they're an iconic Australian food, okay? Wheat picks are a breakfast cereal. As you do with cereal, you put them in the milk, whatever, and then you just eat them like that. I just can't. Once you leave them in that cereal for a good like five minutes, they are just mush. Like mush, mush, mush. I just don't like wheat picks. My next weird fact is that until I was about two years old, I actually could not speak any English. I only spoke Greek, which is what my mum would speak to me, and Arabic, which is what my dad would speak to me, because I'm half Greek and half Sudanese. So my parents would speak to me in Greek and Arabic. So as a child, like I, when I was like really small, I didn't speak English at all. Until, I don't know, I guess when I started going to kindergarten and then everyone was speaking English because we're in Australia. And yeah. My seventh fact, I know people are going to be going nuts at me and they're going to be like, how can you not speak I'm sorry. I have never seen Star Wars. I just, I'm not interested. I don't even know exactly what is going on in that film. I feel like they're on a spaceship. There's all these weird alien characters. That Chewbacca, furry dude. Maybe he's an alien. I don't know. Oh, there's the girl with the bun. Leela, Leila, Le Leia, Princess Leia. Leia, Princess Leia. Is that from Star Wars? Is that Star Trek? I'm sorry, dude. I haven't seen it. I'm probably going to watch them at some stage. I'm a film student. Like, I'm studying film, yet I have not seen a film that was, like, key to sci-fi history. I'm more of a thriller, horror, drama, chick flick. Oh, love a good chick flick. The next weird fact about me is that I strongly dislike feet. I hate feet, guys. I don't like feet. Okay, if they've got socks on them, that's fine, but bare feet, I can't look at people's feet. I don't like feet. I don't like to show my feet. I always like to have my feet covered by socks or shoes because I don't like feet and toes. And I don't like seeing people's feet. Like, I just want to say, like, wear socks. <laughs> so, number nine is that the first time my nose piercing ever fell out, because as soon as I got it, I had problems with it falling out. This was, like, in January, March, April, May, June. Are we in June or May? May? Sorry, I can't count. I've had this piercing for about five months now, but when I first got it, I had a lot of issues with it falling out. And, yeah. So, yeah, the first time it ever fell out, I panicked. I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? So, I'm live here in front of, like, over a thousand people watching me. What happened was I had these on and I pulled them out really aggressively because if you guys don't already know, when I'm live, I have the music blasting. Yeah, let's go, guys, let's go. And at one stage, I was like, take off these glasses. So, I ripped them off like that. And just as I... Took it off, it brushed against my nose piercing, my nose piercing fell out. I was like, what was that? Ah, the piercing! <laughs> I think it was like half out. I was like, oh my god. And you know, like when you first get a piercing, it's not good to take it out. So I started freaking out and I went, I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? There's like a thousand people watching me. So I was like, Sylvia. And I, Sylvia's one of my friends and she was in the chat. So 
I was like, Sylvia, I'm going to guess you. So I guessed Sylvia. Sylvia was there and she was talking to everyone while I ran off to the bathroom to look in the mirror and try and get this piercing back in. I tried, I tried, I tried and I could not get it back in. I was to the point where I was like almost crying. I could not deal with it. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I couldn't get it back in. I ended up waiting it out for a little bit longer and then I was like, okay, I've got to end the stream, guys. I'm so sorry, but I need to go and go back to the store and get them to put this piercing in for me because I can't do it myself. I'm like, it's only... It's going to close. If I don't go now, that's it. Thank you, Sylvia, for taking over for me that day. And the last fact about me is another one of my fears because I have, like, a long list of fears, okay? I'm just a scaredy cat. My fear is of suffocation and choking. Just the thought of not being able to breathe, like, oh, uh, That scares me. If I had to choose a way to die, it was get hit by a truck or drown, I'd get hit by a truck any day. When I was younger, I actually, like, was eating calamari. And, like, you know calamari? Like, in a ring. Then you chop it, and then it's, like, a string. Somehow it started going down my throat and it got stuck and I was freaking out. Okay, this is this is where it gets gross. So your discretion is advised. I got my hand and I shoved it down my throat and I pulled out the calamari ring. I was like this, I was like, <coughs> <laughs> like full on choking. And I, well, okay, maybe it wasn't that extreme, but I was choking on a calamari ring and I was like, nope. So I got my hand shoved it down my throat and pulled it out and saved my own life so that was the story of when i saved my own life so that was the 10 weird facts about me i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching if you did get up to this point of the video be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below as well and let me know what video you want to see next from me and tell me some weird facts about you guys because i want to know more about you guys as well if you guys want to follow me on any of my other social media it's all down below in the description and also at the end of this video you can see my snapchat my Instagram, my Musical.ly and my Twitter accounts as well so be sure to check me out on there, we can stay linked and we can have a chat on there so feel free to DM me and talk to me on there as well. Don't forget to keep spreading that love, positivity and good vibes and I will catch you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Bye! 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 <laughs>